Hey guys, this is Holy Sword coming at you, and today I'm actually bringing you the first episode of the Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough. So, you know, actually I have never ever played this game. I bought it. I think I played the multiplayer a few times. I have never even touched the single player campaign. Um, so, you know, this is coming to you first as a first timer. So, if I do mess up, or if I make mistakes, bear with me. Alright, so let's get this started. Let's see. Single player. Start new game. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that works. Holy sword. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. I suppose. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Wow, you know, I have actually not played any of the Assassin's Creed since the first one, so I'm a little behind on the storyline, but it seems really, really awesome. I'm excited for this. This is crazy. I feel like I've missed half the movie. Let's go. I 
Can I run? No? Come on, dude, walk faster. Why, why do I have a little glowing dagger? What's that? That is awesome. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. What the heck? Why does that keep jumping? I think we're here. Sweet, I can run now. I can run. I can run. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, 
visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Wow, this is really cool. Alright, so like I said, I haven't played this game since... When, when, when has it been? Jump the gap. Tripping balls. What the hell are you talking about? Ugh. Alright, anyways, like I said, I haven't played this game since Assassin's Creed 1, so I'm totally lost on the storyline. However, it does look really cool. Um... So I'm excited to play it. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Um, see, I have no idea what Desmond doing. I have no idea what these fools are doing here. And I, I like how at the beginning they were talking about, you know, December 21st, 2012. And we are now past that date. And absolutely nothing happened. To tell you the truth, I'm a little disappointed. I was actually hoping for something cool. At least, I don't know, at least something. You know, even if it's something small, but something. But nothing happened. Nothing. You disappointed me, universe. You disappointed me. We should be able to build the world. Who am I? Find out what the temple wants from you. Look at me. I look like a friggin' douchebag. Come on, run, fool, run. Anyways, uh, like I said, I'm really excited to play this game, but yeah. The world disappointed me. Nothing Maybe happened on December twenty-first of two thousand twelve. Yes. Fine. I'm just. Oh man. Fine, Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Um, I am gonna make do something to make this easier for you. And hopefully, that'll work. All right. There we go. Subtitles. That way you guys can read that. Cause even I can barely hear it. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of one. Start mission. A deadly performance. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Oh, well, look at him. Isn't he cool? Just walks past. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no, no. Find my seats inside the opera house, right? Right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get it, boy. Get him away, fools. Good evening, sir. This Get him away. Please. My apologies. Yeah, Bo. Oh, I just farted on that guy. Dang. Oh, man, I bet he's regretting me passing in front of him. 
So, I, you know, I sometimes I do feel like I get a little self-conscious. I sound a little nervous. And the reason for that being is because I hate the sound of my own voice. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best luck by far. You've seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. But I suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? And the statesman, because he's so great, thinks his trade as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest employment, so is mine. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity, both against Rhodes and for him. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by them. Sir, Black Maul has sent word of trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. Oh, there he is. You may satisfy that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Cat, sir, is found guilty. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way out. This is death without reprieve. I already have. I may venture to book you. For Tom Gag, 40 pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. I like, I like how they were like talking about that one guy and his name's Gay. <laughs> I thought that was funny. My apologies. And in truth, tis a pity to lose my so apologies, my ass. I, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for swearing. I feel bad now. Oh, no. Oh, lordy lord. I love to let women skate. A good sportsman always lets the end partridges fly. Because the breed of the game depends on you. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women. Oh. Except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fool. You know, I, I wonder how the dudes that are watching this opera thing don't see me. I mean, really? Like, for real? You gotta be kidding me. I'd be like, hey, what's that dude doing up there? That boy be cray. Be cray. Finally, sick of climbing walls. Well, I can pick locks now? You can do that in the first one. Look at me being all thief and stuff. This is a little like Skyrim, like Skyrim lockpicking, a little bit, just a little bit. This is exciting though. <laughs> Alright, so, we gotta, we gotta, I think we gotta just run and jump it. Boom! Yeah! I'm a pro. I love puzzles. I love puzzle games. So these things where you gotta like, uh, you know, kind of find your way around. I, I kind of like that. Reminds me of P Prince of Persia. I love that game. Uh, like Warrior Within. Oh man, that game is the bomb diggity. All right, how do you get this? Drop like the moon. <laughs> Oh man, I cracked myself up. Alright, let's see. What, what do I do now? What do I do now? I go all the way around? Certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him. Yeah. Oh, I almost jumped. That would, that would have been a bad idea. Like trying to jump backwards, you know, like Darksiders style. Yeah, that, that's a bad idea. I don't, think, I don't think Desmond can do that. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. Ooh, look at that guy. We should kill him just because of his hairdo.
right in the neck. No? A little anticlimactic there, Desmond. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Sorry for what? Who is that guy? Oh, the little kid saw. You gotta murder the little kid. Don't you just tell him shush? Kill, kill the civil. No, not civilians. Kill the witnesses, fool. Be a good assassin. What's wrong with you? you failed. That's what you are. A failure. That, that chick was checking me out. I saw her. I saw her. Her eyes wandered to my package. They were all up on these goodies. Uh. All up on these goodies. Oh, I got a fast walk. Get the hell out of here. I will come back to you, little lady that checked out my package. You know you want to be up on these goodies. Ma'am. In the meantime, I gotta make my exit. Get in my way, fool. Go suck it. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Get in my way, fools. Face is in danger. This is really exciting. I really like this game already. Hey. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, this is this is the girl that checked me out. I see you. I see you. Don't be running away, girl. Why are you playing hard to get? Why are you playing hard to get? You know you want a little daddy's sugar. You know you want a little candy cane, a little lollipop. Super size. Yeah, you like that? Why? You, now that you're scared, you want you don't want none of this. That's messed up. That's messed up. That is messed up. Get him away, fools. Fast walk for the win. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. I am so confused. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced, we booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. 
Go forth, Atham, and bring honor to us all. That was really awesome. Um, you know who I'm thinking that guy is? The dad of the half Indian guy that we're about to play. I'm pretty sure. I'm just saying. This is just my calculations based on statistical facts of the data that was provided to me. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think it is, though, for real. <laughs> I really like this game. Atlantic Ocean Day 2. This is really exciting, like the whole history behind it, the whole like, the whole like setup they've got, you know, between like all these people, like, in the history, you know, of, of our, like, of the American history. I think it's really cool, everything that they set up, so. Some fresh air might do me good. Alright guys, well we are on the ship now, and I believe this episode has come to an end. So uh, continue to follow me on, well continue to follow us, Rat and I, on the Couch Warriors. And also continue to follow this commentary. And like I said, if I ever sound nervous, it's probably because I, I really, honestly, it's hard for me to listen to my own videos. And not because I don't think my commentary is good, or because I don't think I'm funny, because I think I'm hilarious. But because I just, I hate, I really dislike the sound of my own voice. I don't know why, but oh well. Anyways, subscribe, like the video, and I hope you guys keep watching. Um, and I look forward to bringing the rest of Assassin's Creed to you. Um, and also, um, side note, I will be bringing Devil May Cry, uh, the, the new one that's coming out. Uh, as soon as it releases, day it releases, I'm going to buy it. I'll bring you some commentary, some playthroughs, so look forward to that. So I hope you guys have an awesome day, and uh, I will see you next time.